637 on this Thursday and a very important morning for parents in Fishers after several kids get a really strange request on social media. Uh, there's an Instagram account apparently friending young kids and asking them to send pictures of their hands. This is definitely strange. Alyssa Raymond is live for us this morning. Well, what, what, why this behavior is actually getting the police's attention. Alyssa? Julia Ben, good morning. Fisher's police say that it's a big concern for them because they really don't know the intent of this person just yet. Yes, it's super creepy, but as of right now, it's not a crime, so there's no official investigation that's been opened up about this. But police still want people and parents to be aware about this and definitely report anything like this. So here's the information you need to know the gist about what's going on. These messages are coming through Instagram, like you mentioned. The guy says his name is Tyler Schultz. First, he asks to be friends. Then he comes right out and asks this question. Can you send pics of your hands? Fisher's police say at least five middle school-aged boys have received messages like this. Yeah, the other uh, concerning issue is our intelligence unit has been able to identify 20-plus uh, different accounts with variations of this name. So if you just do a quick search of Tyler Schultz on Instagram, like the sergeant mentioned, there's 20 different accounts at least that come up with that name. The only difference is the numbers are slightly different on the end of the account. The other thing associated with these names and accounts is this profile picture, and they all have the same profile picture. It looks like it's a scoreboard in a hockey arena. One more thing to note about these profiles is they don't have any posts, and they're public. Back to you in the studio. All right, Alyssa, thank you. By the way, with technology so easily available, obviously having to talk about cybersecurity with your kids is a big one. Earlier this week on Sunrise, we met with an expert who actually talked with a, several IPS students and their families. She shared some tips with us that you can use at home. For kids, remember to never share personal information about where you live or anything that could be used to steal your identity. Make sure you know what links you're choosing before you click. And for parents, get involved in your kids' online activities, know what games they play, and see if they're chatting online with strangers. If you'd like a full list of cybersecurity tips, you can check out our website at WTHR.com. Well, it's not every day you get to see a man wearing a kilt and showing off his